That's it. The mastermind controlling Monokuma. They're the one who killed Rantaro. The mastermind is the culprit? Jeez, and you call yourself the ultimate detective? Trying to overturn the results of the first class trial. The Mono Cubs won't be silent about this. What? Us again? Him turning to his Mono Cubs is really weird. Well, not, nah, but yeah. We don't know. Monodom does. Or, uh, Monodom knows something. But yeah, like, him, like, he's, he's disheveling it, like, his model kids, like, using them as, like, shields, essentially. If Rantaro's killer is the mastermind, that means Kaede was the mastermind! Can you prove the mastermind is the culprit? Yeah! Got any evidence? You want evidence Kaede is the culprit? The shot put ball at the murder scene! She used the camera flash to lure Rantaro in, and then cracked his skull with a shot put ball. Yep, yep, Kaiji set up the whole thing. Even the lethal shot put ball. Kaiji had it all along. That's wrong. I am out here. I'm getting cocky. I can't do that. I gotta be back in mind. Discovered during the investigation is this: the shot put ball that Rantaro was killed with was different than the one Kaede had. What'd you say? I have no idea what's going on. A different shot put ball? What do you mean? I found a shot put ball in the trash can in the hidden room, but it was not the murder weapon. That shot put ball didn't have any blood on it. Rather, there was a pink fiber stuck to that shot. Pink fiber? So what? Do you remember how Kaede was carrying the shot put ball? In her backpack. Kaede's backpack. She was carrying the shot put ball in there. Despite its weight, it would have been easy to carry in a backpack. I'm... Noticed you had a spare vest, which could have, uh, or which you could have wrapped it in. That would prevent the cameras you were carrying from being damaged. I see. She had it in her backpack. It was wrapped in her spare vest. Her pink vest. Yep. <clears throat> See, the shot put ball you found in the hidden room had a pink fiber on it. Yes, it's a fiber from her vest. That can only mean that the ball I found was the one that was in Kaede's backpack. What, what'd you say? Really, I got no idea what you're talking about. That shot put ball did not have blood on it, so it could not have been the murder weapon. In short, the shot that Kaede used didn't hit Rantaro. But then, maybe they just washed off the blood. But why would they do that? If so, the fiber on the shot put ball would have been washed off as well. It's clear to me that the real murder weapon is different than the shot Kaede had. Yes, Kaede set up the bookcase and rolled the shot into the vent. But that shot didn't hit Rantaro. Her plan failed. Failed? I don't even know what that means. If you found that shot put ball in the hidden room, then that means... I found the shot put in the uh, ball in the hidden room because the mastermind took it. That's it. The mastermind took it from the library. Only they could get in that room, after all. The Mastermind took it? So they recovered the shot that missed Rantaro, and he was killed by a different one. Rantaro was killed by the Mastermind, who made it look like Kaede was the culprit. That required a bit of trickery on the Mastermind's part. They prepared their own shot to kill Rantaro, and switched it with Kaede's shot. They took Kaede's shot put ball and stowed it in the hidden room. 
To put it simply, Kaede didn't kill Rantaro. It was the mastermind. What? Did you say? Everyone calm down. Father is going to yell. No! What? Monotum, why? Monic you you lose because of that, Monokuma. You fucking lose because of that. You can't why? In, in what world? Dude, Monotaro fucked up way harder than Monodom did. Why in the world what Okay. Whoops! I got too worked up and accidentally pressed the detonator. Whoops, I accidentally, you know, killed my best fucking monocum, but now I'm gonna die for it. Evil villains, am I right? Oh, now we're going to get an explanation of why her blue puke is something different. Sorry, I'm like... The mastermind killed Rantaro. <laughs> Sorry. <Why? laughs> I know I shouldn't be that upset, but like... Yes, let's kill my best monoclub and my smartest monoclub. That makes so much sense. I believe the reason had something to do with a time limit motive. Fair. The time limit is now in effect. If a murder does not occur by night time two days from now, then every student is forced to participate in the killing game will die. Kaede was keeping us all together, and we refused to kill each other. To break up the stalemate, the mastermind introduced that motive. However, this was a gamble. We didn't want to cause total chaos after all. Because that would just end everything. They wanted an exciting killing game. That motive put pressure on the mastermind as well as us. Yes, Kaede had a plan to kill the mastermind, but Rantaro was caught in the trap. However, her plan ultimately failed. The shot put ball that she rolled didn't hit Rantaro. Because it missed, you would have been annihilated due to the time limit. But the Mastermind wanted to avoid that situation, so they took action. Thanks to the Nanokumas, the Mastermind would have known Kaede's intended murder weapon. So when her plan failed, they would already have another shot put ball prepared. Then, the Mastermind manipulated the scene to make it look like Kaede succeeded. All they had to do was hide Kaede's shot in the hidden room that only they could enter. So... Kaede was executed on false charges? Yes. Yes, she was. She didn't actually kill anyone. But she was executed nonetheless. Because the mastermind framed her for Rantaro's murder. And Monokuma played along. He let us believe the mastermind's lie. We were all fooled, including Kaede. We thought she was the culprit until the very end. And you want to tell us this game is fair? That there are rules? That's all bullshit! This game makes no sense at all. If Monokuma twisted the truth for this case, then he could have twisted it for the other cases as well, making this killing game unfair. Then, it's not even a killing game anymore. It's just... I won't forgive them. I'll never forgive them for breaking the rules and killing Kaede. Damn. So cool. I'll never forgive them. And I will avenge Kaede. I swear on her kindness and her love and her grave that I will avenge her. Yeah! How dare the mastermind create the detonator that blew up the adorable monodom? You're the one that blew him up. Don't pass the buck. Anyway, we know the mastermind Thanks, is also Rantaro's killer. Let's figure out who that is. That is, if Monokuma still wants to continue this class trial. Of course we're gonna keep going. Like I said, this killing game will never end. No, Monokuma. I will end this. I will reveal the identity of the mastermind and end the killing game. Um, may I interject? You keep accusing this so-called mastermind, but... Are you sure there's even a mastermind at all? Are you 
you sure you bastards aren't imagining it? If the mastermind is real, show him to us. You guys are the ones hiding them. It's possible the mastermind is still in this academy. The survivor perk said so. If they were involved in Rantaro's murder, there's no doubt. Then they must have snuck in during the Gopher Project and stayed hidden in the account. Ah! You just odd. What was that all about? I just realized something. Say it, or I'll cast my all the guys you date will be single fathers curse. <laughs> it's Kaede's younger twin sister. That's where I was thinking something. They're gonna bring this up now. Her what? Younger twin sister? It was on this Gopher Project participant list. She has a twin sister. It seems sort of weird to me. Juku and Oshima had a twin too, right? Are you saying those same circumstances apply here as well? This killing game was influenced a lot by the past one, right? So maybe the Mastermind's real identity was too. The Mastermind who snuck into the Academy and made us play this sick game. Is Kaede's twin sister? Maybe. I guess that's a possibility. Either way, there's no doubt that the Mastermind is hiding somewhere in this school. How unfortunate that you couldn't find them during your final investigation. You're not allowed to leave while the trial's in session, so you can't search for them now. You can't leave during a trial unless you gotta pee. Oh, I gotta pee. We're not falling for that one. Kaede's twin sister. Is the mastermind still hiding somewhere? Is she really the mastermind? Is it really that simple? Yeah, so how am I going to argue this? Can you guys figure out the identity of the mastermind? Besides the 16? Clues to the of us at this school. Clues to the mastermind. According to the Mother Kuma, the mastermind goes to the hidden room in the library quite often. In addition, the classroom that creates flashback lights reverts to its original state when the door is open. Seems though as though the person operating it was cautious not to see be seen by anyone. Person too. That seventeenth person is the mastermind. It could be Kaede's younger twin sister. Just like the previous killing game, the mastermind might have a twin for this game too. If it really is the same as the previous killing game, then Kaede would still be alive. Right. And she could potentially be the mastermind. Who cares? You're still no closer to the answer. No leaving while the trial's in session. According to the list, the Gopher product participants, Kaede had a twin sister. Maybe it's correct, but we should determine something first. Can you guys figure out the identity of the mastermind? Besides the 16 of us at this school, there was a 17th person too. That's it. History of the battle between hope and despair afterwards, or the afterward claims is compiled by several esteemed researchers and it's the most thorough, accurate book written on the subject. However, sweet, it, it contradicts the memory Suichi and Maki received from the flashback. The key passages from the documents are as followed. The cause, the cause of the biggest, most awful, most tragic event uh, in human history was the ultimate despair. The term ultimate despair can be used to refer to Chunko. In order to plunge the 78th class into the ultimate despair, they played their killing game. To protect themselves from the tragedy, the 78th class sealed themselves inside Hope's Peak Academy as part of the Hope's Peak Academy Shelter Project. 17th person is the mastermind. It could be Kaede's younger twin sister. Just like the previous killing game, the mastermind might have a twin for this game too. That doesn't seem right. If it really is the same. No. I want to contradict. I kind of want to contradict Himiko. Damn it! Person is the mastermind. That's wrong. Then 
No, the mastermind can't be a 17th person. That contradicts what Mother Kuma said. The one you're all looking for comes to this room quite often. It implies that the mastermind wasn't in the hidden room the whole time. They must have been coming and going between the room and the academy, right? Would someone who has to stay completely hidden really risk that? Right. If they were trying to hide, they would have just stayed put. I see. That's some impressive logic. Don't agree with him. And during the investigation, I found a classroom that makes flashback lights. A classroom that makes flashback lights? Uh, I'll explain the details later. But there was something interesting. Right at that moment, the classroom door suddenly burst open. Whoosh. There you are, Shuichi. Kimiko. The classroom changed back to normal. When the door is opened, the classroom reverts to its original state. Clearly, the room is hiding something. Isn't it obvious? The mastermind didn't want anyone to see them making flashback lights. But why create such a classroom at all? If the mastermind were a 17th person, they could have their own completely separate room to make flashback lights. Indeed, that would be much safer. Knowing this, we can make a few assumptions about the mastermind's identity. However, the implications aren't good. What an ominous way to say it. But there's nothing to worry about. We got this far because we're friends. We're in this together no matter what. There's nothing to fear. Yeah, she's right. The mastermind's identity. Considering the facts we have, my detective work points to... Mastermind is most likely one of the participants of this killing game. Oh Lord. W one of the participants? One of the 16 people who were forced to play this game. One of us. W what did you say? The classroom that makes flashback lights and the hidden room being visited often. It all suggests that the mastermind is someone we'd see every day at the academy. Someone we'd see every day? Like one of the 16 students? Th that's crazy! There's no way one of us is the mastermind! Because we're all friends! We swore to fight together! <laughs> Then it just means that all your friendship talk was a lie, right? Could it be Kibo? Shut up! That's not possible! <laughs> You're upset and irrational. At times like this, a voice of reason is necessary. Absolutely necessary! <laughs> Got it. We're up. Alright, we're gonna put on a reasonable yet outstanding show and earn our right to live! Eh? Our right to live? Is someone about to die? Is that... Whatever! I don't believe you! There's no way the Mastermind's here! Wait, even if it's one of the 16 students, it doesn't mean it's one of us, does it? Huh? What do you mean? It's possible that the Mastermind merely faked their death, and has been alive this whole time. Now that we know Monokuma will break rules as he sees fit, that possibility should be... What's that supposed to mean? Hurry up and answer! If you don't hurry up, I'm gonna blow up the rest of the Monocubs! Do it. I don't care about the rest of them. 
the identity of the mastermind. We'll know for sure once we determine who killed Rantaro. I need to confirm something to find out who that was. No. I was wrong. That's it. I really should have gone with that the entire time. I don't know why I didn't. We need to go over everyone's alibi for Rantaro's murder again. Our alibis from way back then? Didn't we discuss that during the first trial? What good would it do to discuss it again? Now that we know Rantaro was killed by the Mastermind, it might lead somewhere. We might find a hole in someone's alibi that we didn't see at the time. So we just have to give our alibis again. Fine. Then let's do it. So we can be sure that the Mastermind's not one of us. <laughs> I wonder where this discussion will lead. Will it lead to a mastermind in this very room? Or not? Either way, we're gonna make sure this trial stays exciting! I was in the game room in the basement. With Kaito and Gonta and Maki. Also, Tenko and Angie were there too. Even if I was in the same basement, it's impossible for me to have killed Rantaro. Hey! I didn't kill Rantaro either! I was in my room by myself. And so were Ryoma and Kokichi too. I know that is a poor alibi, but... I did not kill Rantaro! I was in the dining hall. Kyo, Mio, and Kirumi were with me. Though I did leave briefly to use the bathroom. I couldn't have killed my What? No! Are you kidding me? I gotta buy an inch! Buy an inch! Buy an inch! Buy an inch! <laughs> buy an inch! Ah! Uh, I, 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 again, I hope that I'm wrong. I was right. Buy an itch! Buy an stick an itch! Anyway. Wait a minute, Sumugi. Huh? You said you went to the bathroom. It's true, I went to the restroom closest to the dining hall. The girls' bathroom near the dining hall, right? What did you say? That bathroom? Huh? What? What about it? Shuichi, didn't you investigate the girls' bathroom? Did you find anything? The utility closet in that bathroom... ...has a hidden passageway. One that's connected to the hidden room in the back of the library. Which means it's possible to get into the hidden room from that bathroom. What? Around the time Rantaro was killed, Tsumugi went to that exact bathroom. I'm positive that when Rantaro was killed, the culprit was in the hidden room. It's too convenient to be coincidence. Hold on. This is all so sudden. I don't think I understand. But maybe they got there from the hidden door in the library instead. No, I don't think so. Remember that I had placed dust in the card reader in the library. Yup. I was trying to determine if the hidden door was open with a card reader. <laughs> Joy, I swear if your ultimate prediction pays off, that'd be fucking hilarious. <laughs> Dust didn't fall. That means nobody used that card reader. So, to enter the hidden room, they would need to use a different route. The girls' bathroom. Yes, I believe that's the case. 
The culprit entered the hidden room from the girl's bathroom on the first floor. And only one of the girls would have gone in. And with the help of Mother Kuma, watched the situation in the library unfold. As soon as they saw the Kaede's plan fail, they waited for the camera interval. And leaped out of the hidden room, shot put ball in hand. The hidden door could open from the inside, so there was no need to use the card reader. In any case, the culprit attacked Rantaro with a shot put ball, left to pick up the shot that Kaede had used, and returned to the hidden room. And they also took the survivor perk monopad that Rantaro had, right? Yes. Then they left the monopad and the shot in the hidden room, headed into the passageway, and returned to the girl's bathroom. Are you saying the one who did it was Samugi? No, it has to be some kind of mistake. Up till now, everything pointed to the mastermind not being one of us. Is Samugi even capable of doing all this? He's just a cosplayer, you know. Yeah, all this would be impossible for just some cosplayer. For just some cosplayer. But you said that you went to that bathroom during Rantaro's murder. Yeah. How can you possibly refute that fact? Refute? It's it's all just a coincidence. Oh, Kibo and Ryoma didn't have alibis. What if they went to the girls' bathroom? They're both males. They wouldn't do that. Did you see one of them in the girls' bathroom? What? If one of them had gone into that bathroom, you would have seen each other, right? But you never mentioned that. Wait, speaking of lying by omission, in Trial 4, I was super hype about her actually being able to call me out, and she lied by omission there, too. Maybe you should do it more because you freaking deserve it anyway. If we don't do well here, we're all gonna get blown up together. I still wanna live longer. I wanna see the next chapter. So please let us win. There will be no next chapter, Monofane. Please, please let us win. is talking about bad guys never wear glasses anyway just cut it out we don't want to die monokuma and the mastermind are the bad guys here you don't want to die do you know how many of my friends were sacrificed please help us is four eyes over there really the mastermind we don't know anything. I don't wanna. I don't wanna explode. Even if she is the culprit. Hey, let's just stop this. There's no evidence that she's the mastermind. I'll cut through your words. Before being destroyed, Mother Kuma told us something. Yep. I have a built-in voice print authentication system. The birth of the Monokumas unless the de or I can't birth Monokumas unless the designated person specifically says the word birth. That individual is, of course, the mastermind. When the mastermind commands Mother Kuma to give birth, it makes a spare. We all tried it out. No, we didn't. Uh, but Kiba wasn't there, was he? 
And you didn't try either, did you? Right. Because I was fighting the Exosols. Did you hear that? Kibo didn't try giving Mother Kuma a command. So the real mastermind is... Tanugi was the only one who didn't say give birth. Yup, 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 yup! Huh? Everybody else did. Everyone else said give birth. And Samugi didn't. Whatever, just give birth to a Monokuma. Are you listening? Uh, we just said give birth to a new Monokuma. Hurry up and just give birth to a new Monokuma. Tsumugi specifically used a different phrase. Yeah, she did. Yeah, try and make a new Monokuma. I remember that! <laughs> I'm so... <laughs> you say give birth. Make. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I that caught me. That me I was weirded out about that when she said that at first. I'm I am I don't know why I'm killing her this Are we actually are we actually going to have a finale where a gamer doesn't fucking die? That would be the twist of all twists. The Final Clash Trial that we're ever going to do is the final one that I don't die. If that actually freaking happens, that is going to be the craziest finale that we could have. It is, like... You knew how to get oh. Kuma to create a spare, didn't you? Uh-huh. That's why you specifically said make. If you had said give birth, Mother Kuma would have made a spare. Am I right, Sumugi? <laughs> Between Joy's prediction and my actually noticing of things, we're out here. Hey, come on. What's wrong? Don't be like that, Shuichi. Do you really think I'm the mastermind? Th there's just no way. Hey, everyone, say something. I'm not the mastermind. That's crazy, right? Then refute it. We're waiting. Huh? I don't want to believe it either. That one of our friends, the survivors, could do this. That's why I'm begging, Sumugi. I'm begging you to refute me. I might be wrong. I... I was wrong before. About Kaede. Yeah. That's why I need everyone's help. I don't care if my detective work is wrong. I want to hear your argument. That's the true thing. Reaching the truth together is what cooperation means to me. Sumugi, please. Sumugi, please. What's the matter? You can't argue back after hearing that. Whoa, hold on. <laughs> Monosuke! <laughs> <laughs> that whoa, that whoa, that <laughs> came out of nowhere. I don't know what's going on right now, but just hold on a sec. Oh, Monosuke's infamous impatience rears its ugly head. And what an ugly head it is. I, I don't think friends should blame each other like this, you know? Uh, come on, smile, everyone. I know. We could watch a comedy special so we could all smile. <laughs> There's one person I'm thinking about right now and it would totally divert attention like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and that's exactly <laughs> that's exactly the reaction that everybody else would call the camera. <laughs> oh no. <laughs>
We have the mastermind cornered. Why is Monokuma so calm? He should be feeling concerned as well. Forget it. We're on the offense here. If we make the mastermind's identity clear, all of this will be settled. It has to be you. Mastermind of this killing game. And the culprit who killed Rantaro. It's you, Sumuki. There are no other possibilities. You don't have anything to say? Uh, anything to say? Even if you keep saying all that stuff, I still don't get it. Hey, let's stop this already. You're mistaken. Because we're all friends, right? Weren't we going to work together to end this killing game? This is a class trial. Uh. Although we were forced into these class trials by the mastermind, that's how we survived. It was the only way. It was the only way we could survive. So please, Tsumugi, refute the evidence. Say something. Your life depends on it. Please. Sumugi, I don't want to suspect you. I want to believe in you. I want the Mastermind to be somewhere else, like in the previous Killing Games. So, if you're really not the Mastermind, then don't give up. I'll cheer you on. Even if you say that. <laughs> Sumugi is taking her sweet time. But waiting around is so boring. Hey, Shuichi! Why don't we look over the case again? What? Come on, that's like your thing. Present the truth and end this. Because there are people who don't know what the heck is going on until we get to this part. Now then, let's start! Monaco was rushing things again, though. I don't like Monokuma rushing things. <laughs> With this new evidence, let's look back at Rantaro's murder. The night of the incident, Kaede and I were in the first floor classroom. We were waiting for the mastermind to trigger the trap we set in the library. <clears throat> Around that time, there were four people in the dining hall, including the mastermind. The mastermind was probably irritated that no murders had yet occurred. After the motive was given, they knew that Kaede was planning something. But the mastermind wanted some insurance. They would take action if necessary. The mastermind excused himself from the dining hall and went to the bathroom. And from there, to the hidden room in the library that only the mastermind could enter. And there they waited. With less than an hour before the time limit expired, Rantaro moved the library's bookcase. Which set off the receiver I was holding. It all happened the way we determined in the first trial. Except at the end. I ran out of the room and Kaede rolled the shot put ball into the air vent. At the same time, Rantaro was lured by the flash of the hidden camera Kaede set. He 
He unwittingly stepped right into the path of the shot. The shot rolled down the path Kaede made, and then... ...fell right onto Rantaro's head, killing him instantly. Or so we thought. It turns out, that was just what the Mastermind wanted us to believe. In reality, Kaede's murder plan happened quite differently. New Act 5. The shot put ball that Kaede rolled didn't actually hit Rantaro. He must have been surprised seeing the shot put ball drop out of nowhere like that. But his fate was sealed. The mastermind saw that Kaede's plan failed and stepped in to finish the job. The Mastermind jumped out of the hidden room and attacked Rantaro from behind. And in their hand, the real murder weapon, their own shot put ball. Rantaro wasn't killed by Kaede's shot, but by the Mastermind's. The Mastermind picked up Kaede's shot and left their shot put ball at the scene. They also looted the Survivor Perk monopath from Rantaro's body. Those things in hand, they retreated back into the hidden room. I remember seeing the bookcase closing just as Kaede and I got there. The Mastermind had probably just finished their crime. And so, the real truth was perfectly hidden from us. We went to the class trial and reached the truth that Kaede was the culprit. But that truth had been twisted by the mastermind. After the murder, the mastermind left the stolen monopad on the table in the hidden room. And threw Kaede's shot put ball into the trash can. A little careless of them to not get rid of all the evidence. They probably believed no one would ever get into that room, but we did. Their crime complete, the Mastermind went back through the hidden passageway. The passageway led from the hidden room all the way to... The girls' bathroom on the first floor. While the Mastermind was pretending to use the girls' bathroom, they were actually using the hidden passageway. That's how they moved around without being noticed. Anyone could have used the hidden passageway, not just the people in the dining hall, but looking at the survivors. Only you could possibly be the mastermind. wrong please refute me please tell us you aren't the mastermind tsumugi shirogane the ultimate cosplayer <clears throat> that's the truth of this case of the killing game itself well tsumugi well what Scorching hot twist! My hand holding the detonator is tensing up! D don't get tense! C -c calm down! Daddy! Please stop this! Go back to how you used to be! 
when you loved us so, so much. How I used to be was more suited to a different story than this one. Huh? Dad. Basically, your story doesn't matter. I get to watch this exciting development. Well, Tsumugi, are there any flaws in Shuichi's logic? If so, then please tell us. F flaws? There's a bunch of flaws all over it. Then explain. Y you can do it! You can do it, Smoogie! E even if you cheer me on. It's not like that. I didn't do it. It's plain to see. Fight back, Smoogie! Come on! You can do it! You can do it! Daddy, you're tensing up again. I still want to live, so please don't push the button. Tsumugi, please just say something. If you don't defend yourself... It's Junko and Oshima! What? Because it's always been her. In the Hope's Peak killing game and in the Jabberwock Island killing game, Junko and Oshima didn't participate. She controlled the game from outside. Even if it's boring or repetitive, she's always the mastermind, isn't she? Then it's like that this time, too. It's gotta be Junko again! Junko and Oshima is dead. She's not part of this killing game. Y you're wrong. She hasn't been eliminated. She's... It's all Junko's doing. This killing game is her doing, too! Yeah, that's gotta be it. Cause Junko and Oshima is... Junko and Oshima is... Cause Junko and Oshima is... Junko and Oshima is... Daddy, please don't get so excited. You pressed the button by accident. Look at our cute faces. Can you really bear to be without us? Junko and Oshima is... Junko and Oshima is what? Okay, time for a commercial break. No, this isn't! 